So as you can tell right here, it's, it's currently functioning. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, connect the battery to a quadcopter. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have something pretty interesting and pretty new and a couple things to be expected on the channel. And uh, let's get started and talk about this. Now, previously, a while ago, I've actually built a drone finder that was based by the VTX. So if your, your quadcopter's battery was still plugged into your quadcopter, you can go ahead and find it. And uh, we had it built on one of these little PCB, you know, prototyping boards. And um, I had a company called PCBWay contact me and saying, why don't you just take it to the next level? We will sponsor the boards for you. Just create the design, send it, and then you can share it with your fellow followers or subscribers. And I totally agreed. So I've gone ahead and redesigned this on a PCB layout and it's just going to be absolutely professional and very nice. So let's take a look at this. Um, this is going to make the overall build process absolutely easy and simple. So first of all, the quality is absolutely superb if you can tell right here. It's, it's really nice. Actually, I didn't expect it to be this nice to be honest. It is absolutely awesome. Alright, so let's just get another board. Now I have this Arduino here because it was a pain to put it in because I had solder still on the pins. Alright guys, so let's take a look how this will work here. So here we have our battery terminals. This is where your XC60 would be connected and it'll route to this voltage regulator right here, which I'll leave a link to everything down below so you can go ahead and find everything. So it would go to this generic voltage regulator that I've been using for the longest time and I really love and I highly recommend they're absolutely cheap. So this would go in here and then you have your Arduino Nano which would go there and then your SkyZone VT receiver which I will post a link to down below. Make sure you get the same one because you can choose the channels from here. And uh, what this will do, you would double side, use double sided tape just to hold this into place here. And then you would route 5 volt ground and RSSI. And here's your antenna, which you would go from here. And we'll sh I'll show you how to install this up right there. You would put the antenna right there and it'll actually route the antenna all the way out here. And we'll put some kind of SMA port to add a, what is it called? A directional FPV antenna. So when you're pointing, you can figure it out. Now, the main thing is obviously you'll also have an LED an OLED screen right here, which will give you the RSSI reading. So it's gonna look something like this, which is like this actually. So it's gonna look something like this, and this is where you would change the channels from. So it's a really nice basic setup. It's like, I think it's all under 30 bucks here. And um, this is just the first project that I'm actually creating into PCB. I'm also creating the ESC tester in a PCB form, which we recently finished. Uh, but that one, the newer version with the PCB layout here, uh, is going to be a, a four-way tester, which can test four ESCs at one time, which I think is going to be pretty cool. I'm currently working on it. And if you guys want to see how I go about designing the PCB to have it printed at PCB way, uh, let me know down in the comment section. A huge shout out to them. This was sponsored by them. And I just think it just takes everything to the next level now. So um, let me prepare everything and let's get started and take a look how to set this all up. All right, guys. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and install the Arduino Nano. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start soldering this guy in. Now, you don't have to solder every single one of them, but it's kind of highly recommended because you don't know which traces are being used here. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So we're going to go ahead and just solder these guys together. And let me do that real quick off camera just to save some time. And then we'll take it from there. All right, guys. So the next step is we're going to add solder just to the pads here and these pads and these pads. These we're going to leave for a little bit later. So let's just do that together real quick. So this is where the XT60 is going to be connected here to this pad right here. So let's just add some solder. There we go. All right, beautiful. Now we're going to add to these pads. I made sure I made these pads pretty big and pretty well spaced apart just for the, if you don't have much experience, this should be pretty simple for you. All right. And then we're just going to need to do these paths as well here. These are going to be for the antenna. This is routing the antenna all the way to the other side. All right. So that's nice. Next step we want to do is let's go ahead and grab our voltage regulator. As you can tell here, we have the in minus and in plus and you just want to align them up. So we have the out plus, which is right there. So we're just going to flip this guy over and then just install him like so. And I highly recommend uh, before actually soldering on your Arduino Nano to install this guy in the XT60 and test the output and make sure it's outputting 5 volts. 
So that's something pretty important to do. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and check my uh, the first build video with the prototyping board. So what you want to do is install the XC60 connector, install this guy, and then just keep uh, measuring 5 volt in ground and play with that potentiometer until you get 5 volts right here. And then the whole board will get 5 volts now. Alright, so we have this set up. Now what's the next step? Let's go ahead and grab our uh, receiving module here. And uh, I've already prepared it. If you take a look here, this is the sky zone. It's pretty dirty because it was on the older build. So let's take a look here. We want RSSI, ground, and 5 volts. So RSSI is currently yellow on this. So what I'm going to do now, so we're going to do is we're going to need to run wires for the antenna. So we're just going to solder some wires here to the antenna and the two grounds. So let me just do that real quick off camera. And then we'll come back and install this guy on the PCB here. All right, guys. So I've gone ahead and prepared the wires. As you can tell, if we take a look back here, the outer part is going to be ground. The middle one is antenna. And if we take a look down here, we have RSSI, the yellow. 5 volt is red. And the ground is the black one here. So I've gone ahead and prepared them. As you can tell, I've removed the uh, silicone around that wire right there. So let's just see where we want to place this. So we want to place it like so here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab some double-sided tape just to keep it lifted off the board and as well as hold it into place. Now we want the antenna part to be up top here and just like so. Very nice. So this is how I want this to be set up. So let's go ahead and start soldering everything here. So let's go ahead and set up the ground first right there. So as you can tell. This is the ground for the antenna. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to actually pick up the antenna wire here. And I want to set up this ground first. Hopefully you guys can see everything. Okay. Beautiful. Now the antenna should have made the antenna wire a little bit longer here actually but I think we'll be fine okay I think that'll be good just like that and then down here we're gonna go ahead and set these guys up and obviously you could make the wires shorter here it would do a lot better there we go it's 5 volt now we need to grab this guy. Okay. Beautiful. And last but not least, which is going to be the RSSI. And I should have added some solder to these wires when I finished uh, cutting them and preparing them. So I'm just going to add solder again. I think this is going to be the toughest part of the whole build here. Okay. Now everything should be good. Now, all right, what's the next step? So let's go ahead and grab our, what is it called? The OLED here. So we're going to go ahead and grab the OLED and we're just going to stick it in just like that. Or actually before the OLED, maybe we could have done the, um, the antenna part here so let's actually do the antenna part first here all right guys so i've gone ahead and salvaged this sma port from a broken vtx now i'll leave a link to some of these down below now make sure you get the correct um sma or rp sma depending on the antennas you're going to be using and as you can tell this would go in just like this so let's go ahead and solder it now these usually come with not six pins but uh five pins now the middle one is very important to be right in the middle because that's the antenna as you can tell right there so those three have to be right there so let's go ahead and solder these guys into place here still pretty toasty because i just took it off of uh i ran out of the sma so this is actually an rp sma currently but i wish i had an sma port and i do not but that's fine i can just get an adapter but most you know directional antennas are sma and the the one from our first project was in uh what is it called it was an sma antenna so as you can tell here i bridged it but that's totally fine you can just do this okay and on the other side you'll see that there is you know no pads but that's totally fine uh there's no need for them you can actually cut that off so that's in very nice and that's really freaking hot 
All right, so now the next step is we go ahead and grab this guy. And um, I just burned myself again. So we want to make sure that the 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 LCD kind of levitates a little bit so it doesn't hit those paths there. So it doesn't come down shorter, even though, even if it does, actually it will not. So we're going to be totally fine. But it's nice to have the um, LCD leveled here. So let's go ahead and do that together here. So I'm just going to keep pressure on that pin. So if I solder this pin, I won't burn my finger. So I'm just going to put that like this for right now. Just add a little bit of solder here. And then we can come back and fix it. Doesn't have to be pretty right now, but um, we just need it to do, the, do its job. So let's just see. As you can tell now, it's misaligned, but that's totally fine. We can just come in and align it. Wait for it to cool. I just burned my finger a little. And that's it. That's nice. We'll come back and hit that last one again. So just making sure it's aligned good. All right. Now we're just going to hit the other ones, uh, the other pins here. So let's go ahead and set this up. Okay. Beautiful. All right, now the next step is to add the XT60 and then go ahead, program the Arduino. And we'll get into that in a little bit. All right, so I got myself an XT6 connector. Now I kept this big and I'll explain why later on because I am planning or if anybody wants to help me and then go ahead and design some nice little 3D printed thing to hold the battery below it, that'd be super awesome. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and insert the XT60 into place here. Okay. Fuck. Got a little bit too hot, so that's fine. You gotta wait a little bit for it to cool down. Okay. And now VCC, which is positive. All right. So theoretically we're done. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop into the uh, um, Arduino software and go ahead and flash this guy. All right, guys, so first things first, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, open up the Arduino software. And if you don't know how to do that, there's many tutorials online. So we're going to go ahead and connect it in. So the Arduino has been connected. We're going to go to, okay, COM27, Arduino Nano. Everything's correct here under tools. So Arduino Nano, ATmega32P, if you got the same one as me, COM27. Now you want to go ahead and open up a new sheet or a new... Uh, code setup and I'll leave a link to the github page down below. It should look something like this Just copy everything in here Or you can just download it and then just set that up like so We're gonna go ahead and upload It's gonna ask you if you want to save you can go ahead and save it So it's compiling sketch and it's currently uploading All right, so it's compiling it's uploading now And done uploading so there we go, that's perfect. So let's jump back in and let's just go ahead and test it out. All right guys, so after the software is ready, this is what you should be left with, some kind of a directional antenna. And what I'm thinking of doing is 3D designing something just for the upper plate here so you can just put this on and it'll be pretty nice and then just a battery bay on the bottom so you can connect your LiPo. So this takes up to a 4S, I think it could even take up to a 5S uh, with that voltage regulator. So what we wanna do is you wanna go ahead and boot this up. The automatic RSSI calibration, I'll have that fixed up later on in the code. So just keep checking back on the code and I'll have it edited. So as you can tell right here, it's, it's currently functioning. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, connect the battery to a quadcopter. As you can see right there, that's just absolutely beautiful. And it's, it's working pretty good. I'm right next to it. But um, I did go ahead and test it around the shop and it's working just fine. However, the field test will come in a later video. Obviously, I just pulled out the battery from the quadcopter. So overall, uh, this was an absolute success. So if you guys like these kinds of videos, please let me know. I could do more projects and have more of these PCB made.
for everyone so you can have a really nice uh, setup here and I'm planning on sending some of these to my Patreons if anyone's interested especially my Patreons let me know down in the comment section I'll ship some of these guys over to you and um, you can go ahead and purchase the uh, stuff here so all you need to buy is like one two three four and then some kind of antenna I'm pretty sure you have an antenna and XC60 connectors so overall it's pretty nice sick little project here I'm really happy with how this came out actually it's really really nice um, you can change the channels through here so it's 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 just awesome it's really super awesome and uh, yeah so let me know what you guys think of this if you guys want to see more let me know I'll leave a link to everything down below where to get this where to get this the code where to get which one to get uh, the voltage regulator some pin headers so you can put insert the voltage regulator in there and um, yeah, and some SMA ports or RPSMA ports, which is very important as well. Uh, the ones that I linked down below so they can fit perfect like this. And uh, overall, this was an absolute success and I'm really happy with this came out. And the quality of these boards are absolutely amazing. Uh, if you can tell, you can totally see. It's a two layer PCB board. Uh, that's all we really needed here. And um, it just came out phenomenal. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this, please let me know in the comment section. And um, yeah, I'll leave a link to everything down below. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.